I also do alpha. And uh, I'm excited to be here. Okay. Welcome. I am Jenny Noyes, and I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina, in the U.S. I work uh, presently with a mission society called New Wineskins Missionary Network. We were the first voluntary mission society in North America, and we are all about training Anglicans for local and global cross-cultural mission. Um, I went on an Alpha course very early on uh, in the development of Alpha when it was just at one church. And since then, I've um, just been privileged to help bring it to the U.S., where it has taken hold. Um, this is over about 25 years, so it's been a privilege to now be involved in expanding the reach of the gospel through this m wonderful ministry tool around the world. All right. Thank you. Uh, my name is Richard Oko, and uh, I work with the Alpha Office, and my main area is to coordinate with, uh, with different groups, different organizations, churches, and, uh, and other institutions, making contact with uh, prisons and any other, any other institution that there is so that uh, we can be able to reach out uh, you know, to the people through the program that we have uh, called Alpha. Alpha is a 10-week course in the basics of the Christian faith. So it's meant for people who are outside the church, those who are not believers, those who have never heard the gospel. People can be hostile to the gospel, atheists, people from other faith traditions who want to learn more about Christianity. So there's 10 weeks on, I mean, I say the basics. Who is Jesus? Why did he die? Can I be sure that I'm going to heaven? Prayer, the Bible. There's a weekend away in the middle of the course on the person and work of the Holy Spirit. So there are four teachings on that, on that weekend about the Holy Spirit. Who is the Holy Spirit? What does the Holy Spirit do? How can the Holy Spirit help us live the Christian life? And then other, other uh, topics as you go through, guidance and healing. And what about the church? Why is the church important? Why can't I just be a Christian on my own? So just very basic topics. So it's meant for anyone who has questions about the Christian faith. Well, the Alpha course is a, is a course that is usually hosted by a church. Or like you say, and it can be in a prison or a nursing home or in any. It can be in a... A coffee shop. I mean, it could, it could be at home, but you invite. So the people who are trained as the team, the small group leaders of the team that are hosting the course, would be the ones to invite their friends in. So there would need to be some pre uh, work, pre evangelism done, where I build a relationship, I, I extend. Uh, maybe I have a coffee with somebody that is from another faith, and then I say, you know, we're having. We're having a course at our church that might be able to answer some of these questions that we've been talking about. I think you would really enjoy it. Come along and see. Just come to one. You don't have to go to the whole thing. You wouldn't even really necessarily tell them this is a 10-week course. You would just say, come to this, come to this one session and, and, and see. We, we have dinner, we have a video, or we have a, a, a presentation, and then we have an opportunity just to discuss, and you can ask any question that you want. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I would uh, just want to say that, for example, Alpha has been in Kenya <coughs> from the year 2007. Um, actually, the, the, it, we had it a little, a little bit earlier, but I went through some kind of uh, um, some uh, <coughs> some silence, and but then it was rejuvenated in, uh, in the year 2007, and uh, so from that time. Uh, I think I would say that we have basically graduated from being a mission mm -hmm. per se. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we are saying that it's we have a, a, a Alpha Kenya Trust, mm -hmm. uh, which is based here, and uh, yeah, so I think uh, uh, that probably gives an answer to your question. Okay. I think one of the challenges that uh, because I'm involved in training a lot of leaders, even do Alpha, one of the challenges is on 
the traditions we have in the, we've had in the church. Uh, Alpha is a series of interactive sessions, as opposed to what we've had traditionally, like the kraji doing all the work. The kraji stands, gives the sermon, does everything, the benediction, and then everyone goes home. Uh, Alpha is different. There are a couple of interactive sessions. And uh, we are training, training the readers or the clergy to be just like facilitators, people who spark a conversation. And you know that's a great challenge because I'm a clergy. We are used to stand at the front and like do from the front. But now this time, <laughs> We, uh, the emphasis on Alpha is sitting down and listening. <laughs> That's a great challenge. Mm -hmm. Sit down mm -hmm. and listening, and sometimes you're tempted to like answer questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As Jenny said, we say in Alpha, every answer is correct. Mm -hmm. That traditionally is very hard because somebody in the small group can give an answer and you are like, <laughs> he or she is wrong uh -huh. but we encourage in alpha uh, make it a place where people feel respected and loved mm -hmm. and honored and make alpha an atmosphere full of love and running and a community where you live together and so trust. yeah and trust mm -hmm. so so to, to add to that it's not that we're saying that any answer is correct. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're honoring that everyone mm -hmm. has an opinion yeah. and we're not going to criticize or shut down mm -hmm. or embarrass anyone mm -hmm. by saying, what you've just shared is completely wrong. <laughs> Look at the Bible here, you know. We're, we're trying to build trust and relationship. So in the first part of the course, they don't trust us yet. They think we have an agenda. They think we're trying to force something down. They don't think we, they don't trust that we actually love them and care about them. So one of the things we say in the States, or we've said is, people don't know, care what you know until they know that you care. So people don't care what you know. We have a lot of knowledge, we have the gospel to share, we know a lot of things, we'd like to share that. But they're not listening, they're closed. Until they know that we really care. We really want you to ask your questions and to feel part of this community. And then once that trust builds up, later in the course, they say, now, what do you, what do you think? What, no, really, I, I want to know, who is this Jesus? What, how, why are you so different? You, there's something different about you. And they begin to ask, and then we can share. But we have to build that trust, or we lose them. Yeah. What Leary encourages and I know my colleagues can test to that is uh, the results, like introducing a person to a relationship with Christ. That is profound, that is just amazing. I come from Sambu and uh, where I do ministry, my parish is in like a slum area. So there's a lot of alcoholism, a lot of drugs and a lot of poverty. And from the small group, I see lives transformed. I see people on the road to sobriety. Not that they did like the AA. They didn't do that. It was just a simple tool, introducing them to Christ. No follow-up, no nothing, no pressure. And then I see them starting the road to sobriety. That keeps me going and that wants me to do it again. Thank you once again. <clears throat> what I would say to the Kenyans, uh, based on what we have talked about as Alpha, one of the things we do is to, is to respect one another. And that is why we do not come from a point of somebody uh, as judging somebody. But we appreciate each and every one because our, our, our mission is to preach the love of Jesus Christ. And so I just want to say that at the end of the political leaders, uh, every political leader will come and go, presidents will come and go, but God remains. So I would rather 
and I want to encourage you to seek your leadership from God, not from, from man. Man, we, we are very temporary here. And Alpha is an opportunity as a tool that, that uh, you know, we can use to discuss, whether in the home, at house, wherever it is, we can sit and discuss about the love of God without anyone be, uh, feeling that they are threatened. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity just to say that as an American, uh, we've been praying for Kenya and we've been very aware of the political situation here and how difficult it's been for the people of Kenya. And so you are in our prayers. As uh, an encouragement, I would say to remember that you are all Kenyans. You are all citizens of this beautiful and great country with a rich and beautiful history uh, and a, a wonderful history of the gospel. Uh, I would encourage you to set your hope on Christ. Uh, our hope is not in a political system, it's not in a, poli a political party, and it's not in a particular um, position of a president or even the Supreme Court or your other uh, rulers. And those, as Richard said, will come and go. Um, but place your hope on Christ and try to build bridges of relationship and love with those with whom you disagree. Try to understand their position so that then you can come to a place of peace and there can be a peaceful uh, transfer of power from one ruler to the next, but knowing that your hope should be placed and the hope of the world for us all is Jesus Christ. Thank you. Our fellow Kenyans, God is love. At Alpha, we strongly believe in the pillar of love. And from the Bible, love is gentle, love is kind, love is patience, love esteems other better than uh, oneself. My free to Kenyans is that we are largely a Christian nation, a Christian country. And my plea to my fellow Kenyans is to emulate our Father in heaven, who is love. When you love your neighbor, remember the kind words of Jesus. Jesus said that the whole uh, laws and the prophet is on love, loving God with all your heart, and then loving your neighbor as yourself. When you love your neighbor, there are some things you won't do to her or him. Despite the political differences, let's love one another with the love God has loved.